Hi everyone and welcome back to Kids Corner. I'm so happy that you've chosen to be here with me again today on this third Sunday of Advent. So today, you know what that means. On our Advent wreaths, we're ready to light the third candle. Now, we've already lit the first purple candle, which is the candle of hope. And we've already lit the second purple candle, which is the candle of peace. And today, we are going to light the third candle, which is this pink one. And the pink one is the candle of joy. So I'm going to put the flame right on my purple candle. And now we have three candles lit. So next Sunday, we are going to light the fourth purple candle. And then on Christmas Eve, we are going to light the white candle together. And this white candle is the Christ candle, which means baby Jesus is coming into the world. And when we look at our Advent wreaths, it sure looks like Christmas is going to be coming very, very soon. Now also today, because it is Joy Sunday, I also colored in my third ornament. So today I colored the ornament of joy. And on the back, the picture I chose was to color an angel because we remember in the Christmas story that an angel came to Mary and told her that she was going to have a baby and that baby was baby Jesus. I'd love to see what you colored for your ornament today. Now for today's craft, we are going to make the Christmas Story bracelet that you'll find in your Advent craft package. So what you'll need is the piece of pipe cleaner and all of the beads, and we're going to go through the story together and make our bracelets at the same time. The first white bead that we're going to put on the pipe cleaner is going to be a bead to help us to remember the angel who came to Zechariah and said that he and his wife Elizabeth were going to have a baby. Next, we'll take the blue bead. And the blue bead is to help us to remember Mary because Mary, who became the mother of Jesus, she was full of faith and courage. The orange bead is to help us to remember Joseph. And Joseph stayed by Mary, even though it seemed really difficult. The next bead is the silver bead. The silver bead is to help us remember the donkey that Mary rode into Bethlehem because of the Roman decree. Now, if you're not sure about who all of these people are, or if you haven't heard the full Christmas story before, that is absolutely okay. We'll make our bracelets, and on Christmas Eve, we're going to hear the full story. And so then when we do, you can follow along with your bracelet to help you to remember. I bet you can hear some snoring in the background. That is my littlest dog, Shiloh, and she is having a great big nap and I just don't want to wake her up. So we'll just listen to her snore while we make our bracelet. Now the next piece on our bracelet is the gold bell. And if you shake it, you can hear that it makes a little noise. We put the gold bell on the pipe cleaner and you might need a little bit of help with this one because it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but it can get in there. And the gold bell rings to remind us of the good news. The next piece on our Christmas bracelet is the star. And the star is to remember the star that appeared above the manger where Jesus was born. looking pretty good so far. Now the next white bead is again to help us to remember an angel that appeared to the shepherds and told them that it was time for Jesus to be born. And the green bead 
is to help us to remember the shepherds who ran to see the newborn baby while they watched their flocks by night. We're getting very close to the end. The pink bead is for the magi or the wise men who traveled so far to see the baby Jesus. And the last three beads are yellow and purple and red. And we're going to put these beads, the, first the yellow and then the purple and then the red onto our bracelets to remember the gifts that the Magi brought of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gifts fit for a king. And so what we can do is we can make our bracelets fit around our wrists and then twist them into kind of like a little knot to keep it there. And we can wear it this way to help us to remember. Or if you don't really want to wear this like a bracelet, what you can do is take the edges and twist them around. And then we make another ornament for our tree to help us to remember the Christmas story. The angel who came to Zechariah and Elizabeth blue for Mary, who was so brave, orange for Joseph, who stayed by Mary, silver for the donkey that Mary rode into Bethlehem, the bell that rings to remind us of the good news, the star that shone in the sky above where baby Jesus lay, white for the angel who came to see the shepherds, green for the shepherds in the field, pink for the wise men who came to see the baby Jesus traveling so far, and the yellow, the purple, and the red to remember their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So friends, thank you so much for joining me today. It was so great to spend this time with you. I would love to see pictures of all of your creations that you make at home. So you're invited to have an adult in your home take a picture and send them to me so that I can share it with our whole church family on Facebook. I can't wait to see you next week. Take care and bye for now.